morning. I hope you're having a beautiful, beautiful Thursday today. Gearing up to the Christmas holiday mood. Welcome to the state of mind. Today I'm having an amazing guest, Bernard Kabue, who's here to talk about the holiday anxiety. If you'd like to join us in this discussion, please do so on Facebook on Switch TV Kenya, Twitter, Switch TV Kenya, and Instagram, Switch TV KE, and enjoy yourself as we're gearing up to having a Merry Christmas. So Bernard, tell us about yourself. Thank you very much. So my name is Bernard Kabue. I'm a physiotherapist. A physiotherapist, a clinician who are trained to bring back your normalcy after an injury, illness, or a disease, which will go a wrong way, including to mitigating disability, pain, pain management, restoration of motor function, and uh, mobility. So um, I'm the founder of Physiotech Rehab Associate. So Physiotech Rehab Associate is a team of multidisciplinary clinician, physiotherapy, medical doctor, uh, psychologist, where we deal with uh, the area of speciality, the main area of speciality being physio, uh, physiotherapy and rehabilitation. So I did my BSc, later I did my further undergraduate in, uh, in Paderborn University in Germany in exercise neuroscience. So we have better understanding and a clear understanding on the today's stuff. Nowadays it has uh, been very common and misdiagnosis has been there because anxiety has a ability to uh, uh, come across mm -hmm. as physical pain yes. uh, or muscle pain or anything like that. And if a physiotherapy is not in to do the, we call the, the yellow frag screening, you may end up treating uh, a physical pain which generally is not a physical pain, is a psychosomatic pain. Holiday anxiety. Um, this should be all the pressure and worry that, uh, that attacks you and surrounds mostly the event that's upcoming. Yeah. So come on, Christmas, um, New Year's, birthdays, and all that. Uh, holiday anxiety, as per my defi uh, definition, ni zasema ni to look forward to Kitu. Yeah. Uh, so you're you're looking forward to, uh, to something positively or negatively. Yeah. Navilo na prepare for whatever it is. When you stress about like budget, kite and yana, mm. who you'll bring, nene nene, is of it. That's that's what I think called the anxiety is. Anxiety generates all about the fear, mm -hmm. the worries that you may have. And people tend to confuse between fear and uh, anxiety. All these will follow. Uh, will, it's it's a it's how your body responds. It's mm -hmm. a, a defense mechanism of yes. your body. Uh, and every even the animals have this defense mechanism. You either fight fight or fight mode. Mm -hmm. uh, what we call the sympathetic and parasympathetic uh, mm -hmm. system being induced. So uh, the holiday anxiety is all about the worries, the fear that will come with uncertainties mm -hmm. surrounding festive seasons, yeah. the celebrations, and uh, the issue to deal with yeah. giving gifts. And they will be very common during this festive season, especially uh, at the month of November to December, yeah. January, January, the maybe three weeks or so of January. Some will even start experiencing this mm -hmm. uh, anxiety even as early as October. Kuna wegine sa hizi vya holiday, wariaza holiday in October. So yeah. they'll start experiencing these things. So generally that's what uh, holiday anxiety is. Mm -hmm. And people should understand what happens during these uh, anxious moments. Mm -hmm. Because every time uh, your body, how your brain responds is by we have structures within the brain. Yeah. Uh, one of that structures is uh, amygdala that uh, uh, informs your body there is the threat and mm -hmm. you have to recruit uh, your brain to respond to it. Mm -hmm. So the brain recru is recruited by um, uh, hypothalamus, mm -hmm. recruiting the hypothalamus to uh, bring about uh, sympathetic changes yeah. whereby the blood pressure can go high and mm -hmm. all that being ready for fight or fright yes. and uh, there is also the feedback the feedback loop mechanism, mechanism yeah. for that whereby the the opposite is uh, we have other structures like the hippocampus and the um, anterior medial uh, prefrontal cortex which now responds by telling you hey my guy this is not a, a real threat so just mm -hmm. calm down uh, yes. you saw a, a cheetah is it's caged so there is no harm so in someone who is anxious or someone who is uh, 
uh, constant uh, anxiety, this feedback group are disoriented or fragmented. Number one, finances. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, after the holidays, of course, to kitumia pesa kae ote, bado kuna back to school. Yeah. Uh, na bado, the other thing is to travel. Yeah. So kama msia na travel, tena iyo ya kurudi, tunarudi ngisi at the same time. Yeah. Uh, so kuna, kuna, kuna hizo. Yeah. Let me bring you down to the holiday anxiety. Yeah. So some courses, let's ask, mm -hmm. family conflict. People yeah. want to go home if they know that they have family conflict. Yeah. How does that feature in regards mm. to causing anxiety as mm. early as October yeah. as you're heading towards December? So we all know that any time we are looking forward to a major event, mm -hmm. we plan ahead some few few days or few months or few some even go to a year. Yes. Some started planning for this holiday last year. Yes. So you can imagine if there is conflict, maybe uh, let's say your family, mm -hmm. the, there is family issues. Mm -hmm. So, to some extent, even the loss of your loved ones in yes. that family, and you had these good friends, how you yeah. spent uh, the holiday with them. So all this problem now, there will be uh, uh, a, there will be projection. Yes. It will be projected now to how you perceive, because there is three ways that happens. There is thought, there is emotion, and yeah. there is behavior. Yes. So every time you start thinking about this holiday, how uh, what maybe you do? yeah, what you're going to do, maybe. Your dad has thrown off your mom to the streets. Mm -hmm. So all these things now get uh, so much constantly recruited in yes. your brain. Mm -hmm. And you start the constant worries that, mm -hmm. why is this happening? Mm -hmm. How should we go about it? Yes. And now this is what now will create anxiety in, in an individual like that. In regards yeah. to family conflict. Yeah. So about finances, mm -hmm. I know you want to go to the village. Yeah with a huge truck of unga you exactly. want to go and shine yeah. with the brand new car yeah. so finances how are finances mm -hmm. affecting people mm -hmm. in regards to the holiday that, season that's that's true that's a good uh, that's a, a great sentiment you have raised uh you realize that especially people from urban centers mm -hmm. people from the rural areas are looking up to you they think uh the the urban life you should have in practice yes so most of the people will go even to an extent of taking uh, loans or maybe um, to taking their products to auctioneers mm -hmm. just to get that money to sustain themselves during that uh, holiday. Some want to impress their in-laws mm -hmm. during that period of time. So you have to recruit a lot of your finances that you have really saved without um, uh, considering the mm -hmm. aftermath of the celebrations, how we really live. January, yeah. school fees. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's true. Some, some even have given, a, a, what do you call it? They have promised people mm -hmm. uh, so many great things, like someone has promised the kids of how he will take them to Dubai, how he will take them yeah. for holidays yeah. in Seychelles, all these things. So by the time now the holidays are approaching, you haven't put put that finances in order together. yeah so you see you start getting uh, all these worries so how we write mm -hmm. tell them how we I deal with these yeah. how or maybe let's say there is eventualities mm -hmm. uh crisis that require an immediate attention financial mm -hmm. attention uh, uh well when, when the holidays are approaching yeah. so now you start wondering what will i do will i spend this money with this crisis or mm -hmm. will i use this money uh, to do as I had planned during the the festive season. Yes. So all these uh, issues now will be uh, the brain will be processing it and it will be trying to uh, to tell you now what shall we do and this will create the anxiety, anxiety. the fear, and everything. The worries. Yeah. So let's talk about also traveling. Yeah. I know we know we see in the televisions where people are, mm -hmm. you know, are struggling to raise um, money to go to the villages. Yeah. The vehicles are all packed. Maybe you can't find a flight to go for your holiday. Yeah. I know also traveling causes anxiety. I think what people have is an unrealistic expectation mm -hmm. of how the, the traveling should look like. Yes. There are those who want to ride to their homes mm -hmm. with a, a new model of Range Rover, mm -hmm. a new Benz. So they go to an extent even hiring that, which mm -hmm. cost them even uh, uh, some extra cost for that. Yeah. 
uh, some are even fantasizing of how that traveling should look like. Mm -hmm. They think they should sit uh, near this guy, uh, bald, uh, handsome, tall, dark, uh, and things turn uh, southwards. He ends up she ends up sitting closer to a crying baby all through the, <laughs> the traveling journey. So all these things now, uh, remember you you have already, um, you fed your mind that yes. this is how this traveling should look like. Yes. Now, uh, in reality, you get there otherwise. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine how now the brain is trying even to challenge you. Why is this happen happening yeah. and you had promised me this? Mm -hmm. So all these things now will create a create uh, emotions uh, worries remember what we talked about that there is thought there is emotions yes. there is behavior yeah. so all these now will be there is there was that thought that mm -hmm. the traveling should be yes. i should be this yeah. i should go by here yeah. then there is the emotion mm -hmm. now that is not happening mm -hmm. now there is that emotion how yes. is your brain the pathway processing this mm -hmm. in a negative way mm -hmm. so how do we expect the behavior to look like the signs of anxiety will start showing up so others are expecting to go home and uh, maybe uh, with the, the the whole the family yes, the, whole family. the whole family mm -hmm. maybe they have not that capacity because of the exped uh, the expenditure that comes with that mm -hmm. uh, we have also seen people traveling up country carrying all their belongings yeah. they go with them there they rent a house near their homestead yeah. then when coming back they carry on so you can imagine those hassles mm. so guys should just take it Slow. And, yeah. first of all do not follow everyone else's plan yeah. it's it's going to mislead you terribly yeah. second of all don't let um, other people's pressure become your pressure and third, make sure that your plan aligns with everything else you are aspiring to achieve. Um, make sure it doesn't really push you to a depressive state. I would advise um, to Ajipange at least uh, una allocate budget. Uh, so una kuwa na a specific budget ya zile vitu necessary, zile basic. Alafu ujieke kidogo kidogo tu. Yeah, December, Ili at least was a Kujibamba, Unaza and Zakusev Mapema. So you feel like people should cope with holiday anxiety? Be yourself. Mm -hmm. Being yourself will uh, get you out of trouble most of the times. Don't try to be like someone else. So if you are planning, you yes. just plan in advance. Mm -hmm. Don't allow yourself to be recruited into other people's plans. Mm -hmm. Like a guy, your friend calls you and tells you, you know what? I'm traveling next week and I'm traveling by air. Yes. Don't fall, don't uh, bow down to mm -hmm. to those pressures. Yes. You just say, I had planned for a matatu and I'm going to use a matatu. matatu just take it calm. This is a, an event that will come just a few weeks yes. and we are done. Then we shall all meet in January. Mm -hmm. You didn't plan yours, he planned in yours. Yeah, and then issues will start arising there because you'll start. As a Kusema, well, he a marigo squeezy. Yeah, yeah. And it, the the big problem is yes. yourself. Yeah. So issues with finances, right? People plan their uh, finances. If you don't have, just work with what you have. Work, work with, the work, work with the, uh, If it's issue about impressing, because this is also a period that people will want to impress mm -hmm. others, mm -hmm. whether you are giving your loved one gifts, just let them know what you can afford and what you cannot afford. Mm -hmm. Then avoid too much. If it's a family issues, maybe there is that uncle who you think will always challenge you if you go home. Why mm -hmm. did you not bring your partner? Why have you not? Yeah. Mm, why are you not married Madre, yet? Yeah. Why? <laughs> you just take it through and tell them God's time is the best. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Bernard, for that. <laughs> on how to actually cope. Very realistic uh, solutions to coping with holiday anxiety. Yeah. And we'd like to take a break now here on the State of Mind as we come to discuss about the signs and symptoms of holiday anxiety. Are you suffering from holiday anxiety and you don't actually know? So join us after the break. Welcome right after the break. My name is Dr. Oguro Kemani. I'm here with my amazing guest, Bernard Abue. What are the signs of 
physical anxiety. My first sign would be I'm worried about cash and and, and my financial flow, yes. Like for me, sinaenda yeah. ushago. So like signs unapata mse, like I'm a cup of yake, he doesn't want to talk to anyone and you're still family. So like there's that anxiety. Yeah. Like especially like young generation, that's how I think, yeah. We have primary and we have secondary. Mm -hmm. So if, if if it's all about prim primary, we expect worries, we expect fear, mm -hmm. we expect irritability. Those are people who tend to aggression. They can even uh, insult you mm -hmm. or maybe tell you uh, funny things. Uh, so we have uh, a blanket of several primary issues that are coming along. Yes. Then we have the primary. Mm -hmm. So if we say primary women, these are the system, the factors that will also affect your systems. Yes. Remember in an anxiety state, we talked about how the brain is functioning. Mm -hmm. And this we expect it to be carried out to your body system, whether it's your uh, digestive, whether it's your yeah. immune system, mm -hmm. whether it's your respiratory system. Mm -hmm. So these people may even experience to some extent panic attacks. So what mm -hmm. we are saying, there is palpitation. What is palpitation? Uh, so they can see uh, the, how the heart is pounding. Awareness uh, of the heartbeat. Yeah, the, 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 if, in fact, they, it's visible. They can mm -hmm. see how it is. Mm -hmm. So they can see that. They can see there can be um, a hyperventilation. What is hyperventilation? Uh, over, over, what over can breathing. we say? Over breathing. Yes. So uh -huh. uh, shortness of breath. Mm -hmm. Some will have shortness of breath. So these are some of the things that people can take uh, and look up upon themselves in case uh, to, re to be able to identify them, they are in anxiety state. Mm -hmm. So we have other things like uh, muscle pain. Those mm -hmm. people may experience uh, muscle pain mm -hmm. because we said uh, is issues with the brain, the pain that happening within the brain or yes. the problem within the brain, mm -hmm. the brain itself has no ability to, to show you that I'm in this pain, mm -hmm. I'm experiencing these. Mm -hmm. So it will project that pain to other parts of the body. Yes. So psychosomatic pain, that's mm -hmm. what we call it. So these people might experience, uh, and if you are not a clinician who doesn't do a good um, assessment of your patients, yes. you may end up treating them for something mm -hmm. which is not the real mm -hmm. cause of the issue. So we have uh, even uh, the, the sex drive. You may realize these people, they are ribbed, they are set, they, mm -hmm. they are set to de desires. It might be affected to mm -hmm. some extent. Talk of uh, appetite. Yes. You may realize that when you are anxious, you may overeat or undereat. Yeah. Some will overeat, some will undereat. Under yeah. And it's during that uh, stage that some may even become underweight. Some may gain under it all become overweight. Mm -hmm. So it depends how you respond to, to, to it. Other things is like concentration. Your mm -hmm. concentration uh, span is reduced because every time you have things, you are thinking You're about thinking about all the time. <laughs> yeah. And especially for young students in school. <laughs> exactly. You'll find that their marks mm -hmm. are going low and yeah. low because they're anxious. Mm -hmm. Our parents have no plans for Christmas. True. I agree. In the digestive system, the, diarrhea, the, the diarrhea mm -hmm. constipation, some constipation. will have constipation. So these are the things that even the parents can look up to mm -hmm. and uh, seek help in case uh, there is such signs. Mm -hmm. And there Sweating. is much more. Yeah. But what I would uh, advise people is don't go to Google the signs that you're experiencing. Mm -hmm. a, so some some of the times you may you might end up Googling these uh, uh, these these signs and symptoms mm -hmm. and even bring more complications yeah. because they will increase even your uh, anxiety levels yeah. because maybe you, you shall end up having what we call delusion of reference mm -hmm. thinking everything that is being mentioned there is being re talked to you it's being directed to you mm -hmm. so don't do good we call them the psychosomatic mm -hmm. uh, mostly psychotic will occur to schizophrenia. Mm, schizophrenia. Schizophrenia, yeah. schizophrenia uh, these people have difference in the, the, the in what we talked about, the, the path, where we have the thought, mm -hmm. the, uh, the emotion, yes. and the behavior. Mm -hmm. So this, this group of how these things are interacting are mm -hmm. fragmented. Yes. So these are people who will, have, uh, who will be deluded. Mm -hmm. These are also people who, who will have a, a hallucination. What a hallucination? So hallucination is seeing or experiencing beings that even don't uh, really exist mm -hmm. in, 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 in the environment that you are really in. Yeah. So you might uh, hear someone telling you um, he is seeing maybe people dancing in front of him. Mm -hmm. 
uh, or people insulting or maybe people around the table like this there is a person here and is trying to talk to them mm -hmm. so other things are like delusion in 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 somatic uh issues there so delusion is um uh, what can I, it's like um, a fixed false belief yeah fixed false belief mm -hmm. so these are the people who may have who might tell you that uh what we said the delusion of reference that everything is uh it's being directed to them mm -hmm. you open for a news bulletin they say they are talking about me mm -hmm. uh maybe they google something this thing is talking, talking about, <laughs> about me, me, about me, me. me. Yeah. there is also what we call the gradiosa uh, mm -hmm. where they think they are being persecuted someone wants to 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 kill them maybe to poison them yeah. you give them food and they throw the food to the dustbin yeah, yeah. so these are things that uh, might forward uh, that, uh, that the that psychotic that symptoms yeah. right from having anxiety during the holiday period yeah, yeah. so what would you tell let's mm -hmm. say if you notice your mm -hmm. nowadays you can sit down you're fidgeting a lot because mm -hmm. you're wondering what you're going to do over christmas yeah. you're having these symptoms already mm -hmm. what would you advise them to do good so the best thing about our brain is we have the ability mm -hmm. to manage mm -hmm. and influence mm -hmm. our information pathway. Yes. So whatever you feed your brain will either be magnified mm -hmm. or will either be filtered out. Yeah. So you have the ability to filter it out, mm -hmm. but you cannot do it on your own. Yes. First, you have to open up about yes. it. Now, the problem with uh, our system is if you open up, People will just tell you, yeah, it's a banana. Take it. Uh, Taputa pesa. It's after pesa. <laughs> All maybe people will yeah. st uh, st uh, bring about stigma. Mm -hmm. They'll tell you, we told you, save yeah. money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So these things, so people will stigmatize you. But look for someone who can really help you. Uh, we have so many things that can really mm -hmm. help you. We, uh, there are people who have seen that meditation really helps a lot. Mm -hmm having your own time and trying to use it in a mindful way. Mm -hmm. We have seen also the CBT, the cognitive behavioral therapy really helps for the, yeah, the, the talk, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, talk therapy, you yes. can just sit. And by so doing, you realize you are not alone in yeah. that system. There are mm -hmm. so many others and that energizes and you to the same you take care. So you just so open up, talk yeah. to someone and yeah. also plan ahead. Plan ahead. Plan. And of importance, it's also diet and physical activity because okay. people think that your brain is a separate mm -hmm. from your body. Mm -hmm. Your body and your brain have to be in congruence. Mm -hmm. so they have to work hard in hard. Yeah. So whatever you feed your body will definitely impact your brain. Your brain. Okay, okay. Thank you so much, Bernard Kabue, the CEO of Sci Physiotech, Physiotech Rehab Associates. Rehab Associates. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us today and also discussing with us holiday anxiety. We have enjoyed the discussion. We've also enjoyed the insight that you've shared with us. How can they find you on social media? So all our social media handles, Facebook at Physiotech Rehab Associates, IG at Physiotech 11, Twitter at Physiotech, Rekin at PRA, okay. YouTube at uh, Physiotech Rehab Associates. Okay, thank you so much. And also for the viewers, thank you for speaking us still sticking together with us till now. See you next time at the State of Mind. Thank you.